I think they are right to ask questions in terms of going out to the Champions League again so early. Um, they still have a glimmer, of course. You know, they go to um, Jablonek next week, the Czech Republic. But I still felt, I don't think Celtic played badly last night. I think they were big moments in, in the game. You know, what 1-0 up, James Forrest went through. All of a sudden, if he scores, it's 2-0. 35 seconds later, he misses and, and Mitchell and equalise. And they were a lot better then. I think they took a little bit of momentum, a bit of confidence into extra time. Celtic looked a bit laboured. They looked, they looked out on their feet, to be honest. They didn't have a lot to bring off the bench. You know, a couple of young kids, if you like. Um, even in the home game, I thought last Tuesday night, Beaton, you know, Beaton gets sent off. Absolutely ridiculous sending off. I don't know what he's doing. And then Celtic go a goal up. Edward goes through to make it 2-0. You, you know, you'd, you'd put your mortgage on it, yep. Paul, if you had a mortgage, that is. But, um, <laughs> you know, and, and, all of a sudden, and, and all of a sudden, if he scores, it goes 2-0. And, and then again, you take a good result away from home. But going back yeah. initially... Ange needs backing. He, he needs he needs a lot of quality play. He don't just need numbers, by the way. Because yeah, there's nothing in the bench, is there? Last night, really, no, no harm to them. No, there's no, nothing there. Nothing of real experience. Or you know, you had Ayeti on the bench. You had well, um, Montgomery. You know, young kid who came on at left back. And no harm to the young players. Yeah, no. But, you know, Ayeti, it's not happened. Craig no. Moore, what did you feel last night? You know, Ange Postecoglou, well, your fellow countryman. What mm. do you reckon? Were you surprised that they went out? Oh, I wasn't, no, uh, and, I, and no. I'll, I'll be honest, because for me, it's very simple. You fail to prepare, uh, mm. you be prepared to fail. Um, you know, and, and look, that's not, it, it's not on Ange. I think that that's been the clear message uh, throughout, yep. you know, everyone's speaking about it. But it's just that, that lack of preparation uh, in terms of, you know, what the strategy is. We kind of all know what the problems are for Celtic in terms of, you know, identifying a talent, that signing process, these things taking too long, players not getting in in time for the, you know, for the big games. But what's the solution moving forward? You know, for me, being the head coach at Celtic Football Club or at Rangers, for example, is 24-7. It's hard work, you know. You, you, you get a defeat last night, you're knocked out, um, you, you fly back in and straight away you're under the cosh. Media want to know. There, there's interviews here, interviews there. Mm. Who is actually then able to plan in terms of what the direction looks like for that team moving forward, the club. I agree, John, we, we, we spoke off air in terms of, Ange will have a big influence in terms of the targets. Yeah. Right? But it's not then his job to then go and negotiate and, and, yeah. and invest all that mm. time and effort into getting the deal done. Nope. What is happening at Celtic on that front for me is, is still unknown. Well, I think they took too long initially over Eddie how they, they thought... Paul, how many shows did we do where everybody was going? Mm. He's getting announced tomorrow, by the way. You know, let's, and I was like, oh, let's not get excited. You know, until until, sure. until deals are done, mm. I've learned over the years you can't get too excited just yep. by speculation and yep. hearsay. But then when they don't get um, Eddie Howe as manager, then a couple of weeks later it's Ange uh, Postecoglou, yep. and then since he's come in, the work should have been done before he's come in, really, in terms of the head of head of recruitment. Do you think he's surprised at how little was ready for him? Well, he said himself. Yep. He's said himself now that he's going to he's going to step up in terms of mm -hmm. he hasn't done enough in terms of putting pressure on his own board in terms of getting the players that he wants in. So now it's time out of the Champions mm -hmm. League. First game of the season, by the way, uh, this yep. weekend, which he's got hardly any time to prepare. Hopefully, he'll, he'll have another central defender here. But I think in, in maybe... A month or six weeks' time, six weeks' time, things will look a little bit brighter for Celtic. I think there will be players in the door, and we need quality players. We don't just need numbers. There's eight numbers sat on the bench last night, <laughs> but yep. we don't. Yeah. You need quality. You need yeah. the per, you need the the person, the people that have got the right mentality to come and play mm. for Celtic. They need to be winners. They need to be a little bit, little bit of experience. Mm. To come straight into the team, by the way. They can't just just come as a squad player. We need yep. players to come into the team and make us competitive again. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.